Okay, so this is the next video in the notes. Hopefully you had a chance to kind of work through these. Um, all I did on the notes portion of this is separate the two ions. Let's see if you got those right. Okay, this would, um, HG2, we recognize that that's a mercury one ion. So this next one, and I'm not going to, to write it out, I'm just gonna say it. This is mercury one iodide, or mercurous iodide. Okay, D, we name the ion, so copper two, or cupric sulfide. E, okay, we got um, the lead four ion, or plumbic oxide. And then last on F, copper one, or cuprous iodide, okay? Now, um, as with writing the names from the formulas, and I'm gonna take a drink real quick, we have to also be able to write the formulas from the names. These um, are probably going to be a little bit easier for some people because it's just a matter of writing the ions and then um, balancing the charges. So ferric oxide, think about the two ions individually. Ferric is the higher of the two, so Fe3+, plus. oxide is O2-. minus. And so if we crisscross or we balance that charge out, we get a formula of Fe2O3. Okay, plumbic oxide, plumbic is Pb4 plus, oxide is O2 minus. And so if we were to crisscross those, now if you do crisscross these, you get a two here and a four there, you do need to reduce down. You do want the lowest ratio of ions to each other, okay? So PbO2 would be the correct formula. Mercuric bromide, let's see what that is. Mercuric is Hg2 plus, Bromide is Br1 minus, and so my formula becomes HgBr2. Okay, and then copper 2 nitride, so copper 2 nitride is N3 minus. We crisscross those. Okay, very good. Okay, you do all the ones on the right. Once again, I'm 